Okay, this recording is about how to create a histogram or a box and whisker plot in your graphing calculator using the TI-84 plus C. As you can see on my screen, I've entered a list of data in L1 on my calculator. And now from there, let's look at how I can create both a histogram or a box and whisker plot. So I'm going to be graphing. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to first go to Y equals. And anything that's here, I need to remove. So I'll, I'll click the right button and then hit clear so that that's all cleared because I don't want that line to graph. Okay, next I need to go to stat plot. And because it's above the y equals, I have to do second y equals to get to stat plots. And you can see that all the plots are off. I want to turn one of them on. So I'll just take this first one and I'll hit enter. And then from there, it has on flashing. I'm going to hit enter again so it switches to on. And then I have to choose type. And you can see I have various types here. There's a histogram right there. The flashing one is the histogram. The box and whisker plot is two over, where you can see that there's a median line in the middle of the box and whisker plot. So let's say I'm going to do a histogram first. I'll go back over to the histogram. I want my X list to be L1, and I'm just going to hit um, graph from here. Now I'm going to see I have this invalid dimension issue because I forgot to check my window. My window size was wrong for my data, so I have to press the window button. Oops, sorry, I have to hit enter to get out of that, and then I go to window. So. I go down to my X minimum value. I'm going to make that 4 for this data. My X max is 32 for this data. And then I want the scale to be 4. My Y min is going to be 0. My Y max is 8. And the scale is 1. And I'm giving you, for when I give you these uh, to do either in class or in an assessment, I will give you the window sizes so that you don't have to fiddle around with that. I don't want you to worry about that at this point. I just want you to know how to do it. And now I hit graph. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, oh, oh. I know what it is. Oh, I have to hit enter. Second to get back to my stat plots. I want five off. Let me make sure that is off. So you shouldn't have any on. They should all be off. Oops, that didn't do it. I think it's because there's a Y list. Okay, let me tell it again. No, I want it on. Histogram. Oh, I don't think I hit enter. That was the problem. I forgot to hit enter on my histogram earlier. So make sure you do that because there should only be an X list for a histogram, not a Y list. Same with the box and whisker plot. Now I can click graph and I'll have a beautiful histogram. Okay. And so this is by fours because I told the X's to start at four, go to 32, have the range before, and the y value is by one. So it's like how many times those numbers occurred in my data in the histogram. Now say I wanted to do a box and whisker plot. Again, I go to stat plot. I'll choose number one. And instead of the histogram, this time I'm going to choose box and whisker. I hit enter and graph. And now I have a box and whisker plot. Again, down here at the bottom, it's going by fours. It went from four to 32 by fours, and this was zero to eight by ones because that's what I'd set up the window parameters to be. Now, the other thing people forget to do is turn this off when you're done with this and you want to do regular graphing. You again have to go to second stat plot, and if you want it off, you go in and turn it off. If you wanted to change the list that you're accessing, you could change this to L2, or you could just do plot one and plot two, and, and different things are, are different lists, and that works as well. Please let me know if you have any questions.